Welcome everyone to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and gorgeous PNC Park. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in. O'Neill Cruz leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. Just about set to go. And our starting pitcher here today, number 39. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yeah, his batting average against is actually better when he's in a Three. Four, four. Take your base. Three. One down. And stepping in is the speedy Nicholas the Dude. Homered last night, added another hit as well. Ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. pitch good eye right there making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller yeah and Woody does a pretty good job back there Boog he's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time maybe some inconsistency here or there but usually he's back there doing a solid job and it is two and one what about an umpire's height how much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. One down, base is empty. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Vic Caratini at the plate, throw to second, great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Ground ball left side. That's and that's just foul. The one two. And now two and two. The dude, the runner at second with one away. Sets him down looking. Fastball at the letters, throws him for strike three. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. And yeah, the batter now, Garrett Mitchell. Swings and misses. 0-1. There's a swing and a miss. That misses. Going to count one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Man at second. Got him swinging. Gassed it right by him. 
Milwaukee leaves one. They trail things here, two nothing. And now it's going to be Henry Davis. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. The 1 1. Runner on the go. There's a ball. Throw to second. He's safe. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for these guys. Ryan Reynolds here. The walk and a run scored his first time. Runner at first with no outs here. Reynolds, a former All-Star, hitting third in the line. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. Nicholas the Dew up now for the Brewers. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And here it comes. That's towards center on Duhar. Sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Now batting. The catcher. Victor. Victor. You're out. Out. Three. Now batting key now Brian batting. Hayes. The third baseman. And when you talk about key elite Brian. defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Rivas, the runner at first with two gone. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Pitch misses. Throw. Save. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. Here's a speed threat, G1 Bay. The 01. And that one finds its way through. Coming around third is Reynolds. Lay at the plate, not in time, he's safe. It's 3-2. Well done. Drives in the run. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And now they've got some... Here's Miguel and Duhar. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Fires across the diamond. Play made. That ends the inning. But two runs form, and they jump ahead. We're through five. It's the Pirates four and the Brewers two. So digging in, Nicholas the Dude. Nicholas the Dude. Get your pitch.
That one oh, no. missed. In today's game, outs are valuable, so guys aren't just willing to give themselves up to advance a runner. They're trying to drive him in as well in the process. So I don't expect him to shorten up and just try to hit behind the runner here. And there's the strike. strike. Telez leads off second with nobody out. In the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that... He's Well, we go bottom six. Here's the catcher, Henry Davis. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Now the throw to first on the run. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Up next is Byron. The first baseman. Nicholas the dude now at the plate and still looking for that hit to keep this streak going and this might be his last shot at it boot that one is absolutely belted and it's gone see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger roll it up, here's O'Neill Cruz that's that's short you know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher and what you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head hey you got one Hit on the ground might be two. Adamas. To second, there's one. Well, an aggressive slide right there at second base, but that's a legal slide. I like that because you're trying to do whatever you can to break up the double play, and it looked like it had an effect on that throw just a little bit. Couldn't get enough on it to get the second out at first for that double play. Nice job by the base runner. And welcome back. Bottom of the Leading inning. Up, Here's Andrew the McCutcheon Pirates. to hit. The, right the Pirates in striking Andrew. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. Tosses to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. I wasn't sure if now he was going to get to this one or Seven not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that. Three, four, four. Take the base. Here's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. Second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. There's the strike. Wings through that. Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And Start of a new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. And this one ends with the score 8 to 5. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.